What's up, Cereal Heads? Today we're gonna to talk about new Jojo Siwa Strawberry Bop Cereal. Now this might be another shorter Cereal Time video and that's because, well, I really had no idea who Jojo Siwa was before I started making this video. Actually, that's not entirely true. One time out here in Los Angeles, I pulled up beside this multicolored unicorn looking convertible driven by this young blonde girl. The car had Jojo Siwa written all over it, so when I got home, I Googled her to see who she was, but then I forgot all about her until this new cereal came out. Now there's probably two types of people that click this video, Jojo Siwa fans and just cereal fans. And obviously there's the Venn diagram where they both overlap, but for the Jojo fans, well, you don't need to hear me explain who she is because you already know who she is and you love her. And for the cereal fans, well, you probably don't really care who she is or why she got her own cereal. So I'm just gonna run through it really quickly. Jojo Siwa started on that show called Dance Moms and then she released a pop song and became uber famous primarily among young girls. She now has a talent deal with Nickelodeon where she makes shows and does performances. I don't know, look, she's very, very popular with millions and millions of fans and that's why she gets her own cereal. And it's why I make YouTube videos for a couple thousand people and will never ever get my own cereal. No, I'm not bitter at all about that. All right, so let's check out the box here. You can see it's brightly colored and sparkly, just like JoJo's personality. You can see up top here, there's the Nickelodeon logo because they own her. The flavor is called Strawberry Bop, and you can see there's a multicolored bow there on the S, just like the iconic bow that JoJo wears. Now just looking at the front of the box here, the cereal looks like it's strawberry flavored puffs with marshmallows in the shapes of yellow stars, white stars, blue hearts, and pink bows. Now, if you look close there, you can see as usual, it says in large to show detail, but it also says marshmallow shapes and colors may vary. That's kind of interesting. I wonder if we'll see some odd shaped or colored marbits inside. On the side of the box here, they have another picture of Jojo and a little note there that she wrote that says, if I could eat breakfast for every meal, I would. Well, what's stopping you, Jojo? You can eat breakfast for every meal. Pretty much any food could be considered breakfast food. Anyway, let's check out the back of the box here. This is a very busy and bright box, as you can see. This is Jojo's journal and tells you a bunch of fun facts about Jojo, as well as giving you activities to do. She says her favorite subject is math. She tells you here to trace her bow and design your own new fab look. She loves to play the piano and wants to learn the guitar. She was born in Nebraska. It shows a picture of her cute dog Bobo here. You can see Bobo in some of her music videos. And apparently Bobo's best tricks are high paw and roll over. And there's a little guessing game where you have to guess which places Jojo has visited. I think it's safe to say she hasn't been to Mars. And then this little Polaroid says her favorite color is rainbow sparkle. As we all know, rainbow sparkle isn't actually a color. But hey, you do you, Jojo. I feel like I know way more about Jojo Siwa than I ever wanted to. All right, well, let's open up this box and take a look. So here's what a bowl of Jojo Siwa strawberry bop cereal looks like. The pinkish corn puffs kind of just look like the Ghostbuster cereal puffs. Maybe the color's a little different. The marshmallows are different, but they're not oddly shaped or oddly colored like they worn on the front. Let's hit them with some milk and give them a try. I feel like maybe it's the same cereal as Ghostbusters. I mean, I guess Ghostbusters wasn't strawberry flavored. Or wait, was it? That's how forgettable that cereal was that I can't even recall the generic berry flavor. All I can say is that this strawberry bop cereal is pretty similar to Ghostbusters cereal, which in turn was pretty similar to Frankenberry, though not quite as good as Frankenberry. I guess this is just gonna be the go-to for these General Mills licensed cereals from now on. I mean, the Space Jam cereal wasn't terrible, but can't we do more than just flavor corn puffs with marshmallows? That's the thing, I know they have some super creative people working there in the food science department at General Mills. Quit stifling the creativity of the cereal makers there and let them fly free with their wacky wild ideas. I'm sure they'll come up with something really cool. For now, I guess we'll just have to be satisfied with the same recycled licensed cereals. I mean, I'm sure all the Jojo Siwa fans would still pick up a box of the cereal, even if it was green onion flavored or something even grosser like Crave. Okay, well that's it for this short video about this short-lived cereal that will surely be off shelves a few months from now. So if you're a Jojo Siwa fan, you better go pick up this stuff while you still can and enjoy it while it lasts. All right, well, as always, thank you for watching and until next time, stay crunchy. And I agree with Bieber, you should definitely burn this car. Cereal time. Cereal time.